So I was thinking... Okay, I love the red velvet and I look really f***ing pale. Pale, 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 pale. It's fine. I, I look paler than I am, though I am very pale because I haven't really seen too much sun for a little while, okay? Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can see today, I'm going to be doing the get to know me tag, which somebody did recommend on my Instagram story. I had asked on my story, what YouTube videos do you want to see? And somebody had said get to know me tag and I'm so sorry, I didn't screenshot it or anything, whatever. I, I can't find who said it, but if you did recommend it, thank you so much. So I'm going to be doing the get ready with me tag, but make it a little spooky because it's October. October, October, because it's October. And if you know me, you know I love my spooky month. So sorry that I'm so goddamn pale right now. But you know what? That's, I was kind of going for like a Vampirina slash Elvira kind of look. Um, do you like my little spiderweb spooky eyeliner? Can you see that? Wait, should I zoom in? Spooky liner. Anyway. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. So I was thinking for this get to know me tag to make it a little spookier, I would mix some sort of regular get to know me tag questions like, I don't know, what's your star sign, whatever, uh, with some spooky questions. So yeah, let's get going. We'll see if it works out. If it doesn't, whatever. So starting off with some just regular get to know me questions, a little warm up round. What is your name? My name is Alexa Rose Steele or Alexandra is my full name. Where do you live? Currently I am living in Toronto. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is red. Um, I do like black obviously, but it's a shade or whatever. Some people get really iffy about that, but my favorite color is red. My favorite shade is black. What is your star sign? My sun sign or my star sign is Cancer. Uh, my rising is Leo and my moon sign is Virgo, if that matters to anybody. My favorite holiday is Halloween, obviously. Um, I do like Christmas, I guess, but I think Halloween's definitely my favorite. I think it's the most fun. You know what? Let's just move on to the spooky questions because honestly, these are super boring. Favorite horror or Halloween themed song? I guess I like Thriller. Like, I think that's a pretty classic song. But I also like Good Night Moon. I forget who writes it. I'll put it somewhere here. I really love Kim Petra's album, Turn Off the Light. I've been listening to it like nonstop. Whenever I'm at the gym, it's that album that I'm listening to. Name something you wouldn't want to run into in a dark forest or an abandoned building. Well, I've obviously serial killer, duh but I am actually terrified of like ghosts and skinwalkers and stuff. Ooh, anyway, I don't even wanna talk about it. Have you ever played with a Ouija board? Yes, I have. And I played with my sister and I know, I know you moved the, the thing, Cassie. I know you did. I know she did. Favorite horror monster or villain, like classic kind of creature or like classic Villains, I would say probably like Dracula. The creepiest thing that's ever happened to you while you were alone? Nothing. <laughs> I've never had any, thankfully, I have never had any sort of supernatural experiences or anything like that, which I'm very grateful for because I'm terrified. If you were dared to spend the night in a haunted house, would you do it? No. No, I would not. Are you superstitious? Yeah, actually. With some things, like I'm not superstitious about the things that obviously became superstition just because they're common sense. Like, oh, don't walk under a ladder, it's bad luck. Like, no, you're not supposed to walk under a ladder because somebody might drop something on your head. That's why it's bad luck. <laughs> but I am superstitious of like, I don't know, ghosts and stuff like that. I don't even like to say that word because I'm so spooked. Do you prefer gore or thrillers? Um, I kind of like thrillers. I like like psychological thrillers. Um, I don't mind gore. I used to hate it, but I actually like it a lot more. I think I've gotten used to it. Once you watch like one Quentin Tarantino movie, you can watch like any gory movie. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
ever made a potion of any sort. Yeah, actually, oh my gosh, me and my friend just did like a potion slash spell the other day. And that was really fun. We like chanted together and it was, you know, it seems like something kind of silly and maybe you might laugh a little bit, but honestly, when we started chanting, it felt very powerful, it felt really good. Doing magic, some serious stuff. Have you ever played Bloody Mary? Yeah, I think when I was probably like <laughs> a kid, uh, like in elementary school, I think we played it a couple times. I will not play it. Have you guys ever watched that Supernatural episode with Bloody Mary? <gasps> I hate that episode. That episode actually scares the shit out of me. I cannot do it. You're home alone, but you hear footsteps in your house. What do you do? <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I've thought about this scenario because I love to read Reddit stories, like creepy Reddit stories. This is my favorite. And a lot of them are like this, so you know, hear somebody break into your house or something. Um, I would for sure, I would try and grab a weapon. I do hide weapons in my house. I don't know about you guys, but I hide weapons in my house. It's my house. I'll hide a weapon. I'm like Dwight Schrute. I hide with weapons like everywhere. Um, I would try and grab a weapon and then I would hide and I'd just be like ready to strike. And I would obviously call 911. If I thought somebody was in my house, for sure I'd call 911. If you were given the death penalty, what would your last meal be? Okay, intense. Um, I don't know, probably like cake or something would be on that list. I definitely would want something sweet. I kind of want something sweet right now. Oh my God, what time is it? Oh, I have to start making dinner soon. What do you want etched on your tombstone? These questions are kind of getting dark. I don't know, probably like see you in hell. If my family's watching this, sorry. If you were to commit a murder, how would you go about it? Well, I wouldn't tell everybody on YouTube how I went about it. I don't know, maybe I'd use poison or something. I love this question. Which Stephen King novel unsettled you the most? Actually, I think The Shining was one of the scariest. It was the first book I ever read by him, to be honest, so maybe that's why it was like the scariest for me. And it was kind of the first sort of scary book I'd ever read, so maybe that's why it's I've got such a like visceral memory of it. But I remember I was, this was when I was living with my sister in LA and I was in my room reading The Shining and I was like terrified. I didn't even want to get out of bed to like turn off the lights. I was so scared. Um, but I have been reading some of his short stories, the Night Shift book short stories. And I really love this one short story called The Mangler. I feel like I go back to read it like every year around this time. It's so good. It's literally about a haunted laundry machine, but it's scary. I don't know how he does it, but it's scary. Have you ever had your tarot cards read? Yes, I have. Lyle actually often reads my tarot cards for me, and I really appreciate when he does that. It's very insightful, very eye-opening. Would you sleep inside a coffin for a night? No. I might be dressed like a vampire right now, but I don't want to sleep in a coffin. Vampire who drinks kombucha. Would you buy a doll that you knew was haunted? That's some like real white people shit. And I might be half white, but no, I would never buy a doll that I knew was haunted. I wouldn't even buy like a doll period. No, no. Do you believe in mythical monsters like chupacabras or shadow people? Yeah, I do. Some of them I'm kind of like, eh, but then some of them I'm like, mm. Um, how long do you think you'd last in a horror movie? Dead, right away. I'll be super honest. I don't think I'd last very long. I might make it to like halfway in a, through a movie. Do you know what I mean? Like maybe it seems like I'll get away and then I'm like <laughs> head chopped off. Does the sight of blood make you squeamish? Like yes and no. It depends kind of how much blood. Um, like if it's a paper cut, it's fine. But like if it's a pretty deep cut, I do. It's not like squeamish per se. It's more like scared. And I've always had that fear of like, oh, maybe I lose too much blood or something like that. That's my fear. Not like, ew, blood. Do you know what I mean? What is this question? Would you consider tasting human flesh for $100? $100? No. $200. No, I'm just kidding. Would you rather get bitten by a vampire or bitten by a zombie? I'd obviously rather be bitten by a vampire so then I could be a vampire. If I get bitten by a zombie, then I just lose my mind. If I get bitten by a vampire, then I get cool powers and I live forever. Duh. Have you ever walked through a graveyard or forest late at night? I actually have. It was hilarious. I was with my friend Austin. It was not as scary as I thought it was going to be. I was walking home drunk with my friend Austin. I don't even, I think we were like out at a bar or something like that. And 
uh, he was like, oh, let's cut through the graveyard. Like, my house is right on the other side. He's drunk. And then in the middle of the graveyard, he's like, oh, it's so quiet here. Let me just, let me just go to sleep. And he lies down on the road and falls asleep. And I'm like sitting there like, oh my God, if a ghost pops out, I'm out of here. I'm done. I'm out of here. It wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. And it was actually very peaceful. And then, uh, of course, I went with Lyle, Olivia, and Gia when we were filming Q Horse Cult Leader video. We were in a graveyard. <laughs> that was a little, little spooky at first. That location, I feel, was a little spooky. Are you afraid of clowns? Yes. Oh my gosh. I remember when I was like six, I had done this McDonald's commercial. And so I think I was invited to the opening of McDonald's at the Eaton Center or something. And Ronald McDonald was there and I was scared. -less. I couldn't even say hi to Ronald McDonald, like arguably the nicest looking clown. Would you participate in a seance? Hell yeah, I would. Of course I would. I want to be a part of the seance. If anybody's doing a seance, hit me up. I don't care. I'll travel wherever. I want to be a part of your seance. What was your favorite episode of The X-Files? Oh, oh, I love so many episodes from The X-Files. Um, oh, I don't know. I really liked a lot of the episodes in like the first two seasons. I think those were my favorites. Whenever I go back to watch X-Files, um, I find I always watch like the first two-ish seasons. What is your favorite part of Halloween? I think my favorite part of Halloween is just... I love dressing up. I love putting together a costume and I love seeing everybody else's costumes too. Some people are so creative and uh, yeah, I just love it so much. In a zombie apocalypse, what is your weapon of choice? I think about this a lot, probably more than I should, <laughs> but honestly, we should all be ready, you know what I mean? I would definitely think machete. Uh, I think it's good. You know, I know a lot of people are like, oh, a gun. What happens when you run out of ammo? I think machete is, you know, made for cutting things down. You know, you're going through the forest, cutting things down. You're going through zombies, cutting them down. That's what I'm thinking. I think it's a good slice and dice kind of weapon. Oh, what was your first Halloween costume? Oh, I feel like there's a picture of me in like a tiger costume. And that's like the very, very first kind of costume I remember. Um, but I was definitely like a fairy slash fairy princess for like three years in a row. <laughs> Those were the earliest costumes that I remember. What are you going to be for Halloween this year? As if I'm going to tell you guys. Um, unfortunately, I do only have one costume this year. I usually like to do two or three, um, but my dad's birthday is actually on the 30th of October, so I'm going to be spending that with him, but usually I go out, like, all <laughs> weekends. Um, but yeah, no, this, uh, I just have the one costume this year, but it's a sick costume. I was like, if I'm doing one costume, I'm going all out, so get ready. Ooh, if you could have a spooky Halloween pet, black cat, owl, bat, rat, or wolf, which would you pick? A wolf would actually be pretty dope. Okay, but I love the classic like black cat and I feel like that's very witchy, probably because I just watched Hocus Pocus too, but I really do want a black cat. I want a cat like in general, but I'm super allergic so I can't. So, I don't know, I guess it wouldn't be very witch-like to be like doing a spell and like sneezing because of your cat, so maybe I'll pick wolf. Okay, so those were all of the questions. I hope it wasn't too many or too little, and I hope that you feel like you know me a little bit better now. Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate when you guys come back to watch my videos. If you don't follow me on social media, then give me a little follow right here to keep up with my regular life. And if you wanna see more videos, click down below to subscribe, like this video, click the little notification bell uh, if you haven't already. It really means a lot to me. So thank you so much again, and I hope you have a very spooky day. Mm. Bye!